Blessings, everyone. Taking a moment to find your seat. What came through for me for today's meditation was being at home and your experience. There's that old idiom that home is where the heart is. I think home is where the body, mind, and heart is. When we allow ourselves to be fully in this moment, when we slow down, and then the soul can shine through the body, the mind, and the heart all at once. One of my biggest challenges in my life has been learning how to slow down. I never learned to crawl as a baby. I went straight to walking, and that's been the theme of my life. So for me, slowing down is this vital part. It is essential for all of us, especially in a culture that is based on accomplishing and doing. This slowing down allows us to connect with our humanity, with our nature, our nature as a being on this planet, our nature of divine love and form. So as you start to arrive in this moment, slow down. Just noticing what part of you can welcome can you welcome home? What emotion or thought or belief system or judgment or a physical sensation in the body can you open your door to? Just like in Rumi's the guest house. Opening the door to every moment. Letting that part of you to feel safe. To feel enough. To feel nourished. We don't just open the door and invite that part of ourselves in so that they'll leave quicker. We let them into our house. We ask them, what is it that you need? Is it a warm meal? Is it someone to listen? Is it to just be in the presence of another being? Maybe it doesn't need anything at all. Maybe that part of you just needs to come and sit on your couch for 10 minutes. And then when it's ready, it'll go. when we think about our consciousness as home for all of our emotions and thoughts, sensations in the body, we recognize that there are no parts of us that don't deserve to have a home. So as you slow down, feeling the witness, your expansive nature, as this container, as this home for all parts of you. Not 
not casting anyone out on the street or locking the doors the moment that they arrive and pretend that you're not home. And gently open the door. You can set boundaries for those guests. At times you can say, I'm willing to allow you into my house. But you're not allowed to light anything on fire. <laughs> I'm willing to listen to you. But maybe I'm not willing to do exactly what you want. Imagine the heart and the mind and the body all having doors. Feeling your soul, your higher self, seated in the heart of the heart of the Creator right now. Whatever name you call God, whether it's God or Jesus or Buddha, Allah, Krishna, Divine Mother, Great Spirit, Great Mystery, Lakshmi, the love that pervades all things or the universe, imagining your soul seated in the heart of the heart of the Creator at this moment, fully enlightened, fully one with divine love, experiencing all moments simultaneously outside the threads of time, your higher self containing all wisdom, all intuition, all love, all compassion, all joy and sweetness, all aspects of your soul radiating through all dimensions and realms and heavens. And we'll start by opening the door to our mind and allowing that love and that light from your higher self seated in the heart of the heart of the Creator shining into your mind. Allowing all thoughts, judgments, preconceived notions, and belief systems to be flooded with divine love, to be seen, honored, revered, cherished, healed and liberated, Imagine that light even flooding into the basement of the house of your mind. Flooding up into the attics. Inside the walls. Beneath the foundation. That love touching every part of the home inside your mind. Inside all the storage boxes, inside the cabinets, in the pantry, the fridge, all the closets, the bathroom, the pipes, the electrical conduits, inside the vents, every part of your mind flooded with this divine love. Gently closing the screen door of your mind. And imagine the soul as a guest now opening the door of your heart.
flooding into the heart. Your higher self, your soul, bringing some sage and burning that sage inside of the home in your heart. That light and luminescence from the heart of the heart of the creator, from your higher self, shining throughout the entire house. Even to the basements, the feelings you didn't even know you had, shining up into the attic, the things you stuffed away. Shining in the walls, inside the insulation, the walls we've put up in our heart. Shining through the pantry, the things that nourish us. Shining through the water pipes and the drainage, how we get fresh nourishment and how we release the old. That higher self smudging, burning sage inside the bathroom, this place where we clean ourselves. Inside the bedroom, this place that we rest, places where the emotions rest. Burning inside the living room and the dining room, the place where we connect with others. inside the meditation space of your house if you've got one. Everybody's got one inside their heart where we connect with our own emotions and our own experience. That light even, and that intention of sage, even billowing into the vents, down the foundation of the house even. Imagining the higher self opening all the windows in the house, letting all this fresh breeze come through. And imagining the higher self closing the screen door as they leave. And straight from the heart of the heart of the creator, the higher self now as a guest coming into the body, opening the door of the body. And slowly coming into the body and burning some cedar or sage or incense, whatever feels good to you today. Beginning to cleanse, purify. Imagining the higher self. Smudging the attic and the basement, all the repressed parts of ourselves stored in the cellular memory, smudging the kitchen, the digestive system, the water pipes and the drainage, smudging the electrical system of the house, the nervous system, all of the walls, inside of the walls, the boundaries, or I should say, limiting walls that we've put up around our body, around feeling, smudging all of that. Smudging the bathroom, the large intestine, the small intestine.
smudging the vents, the respiratory system. Clearing not only out of the physical body, but all of the cellular memory. And smudging the foundation of the house, the bones. Smudging the bedroom. The parasympathetic nervous system. Smudging the dining room. The living room. The hormonal glands. Sponging the lymph system, just like the drainage pipes. Imagine the higher self opening up all the windows in the house of your body. All of this fresh breeze and sunlight could come through, this fresh energy. Imagine the higher self leaving the house, just leaving the screen door closed so all this fresh energy could stay in there. And just feel your higher self is living in all, in this house of your mind, of your body, and of your heart at all moments. Whenever you're feeling stuck, allowing the higher self to be your home, allowing the higher self to go in and open all the windows in your heart or in your mind or in your body. Or to allow the emotions and thoughts and sensations of the body to be invited into the higher self's home. To be seen and held. Experienced. Loved and cherished. Imagining your higher self peering through your eyes as you slowly open the eyes up. You are the perfect love of the divine in form, as I and all beings are the perfect love of the divine in form. I honor this perfect love that we are, and we are one. Namaste. Thank you all so much for being here and praying and playing together. Take care of yourself. Open your windows, literally and metaphorically. 
<laughs> and I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you so much. <laughs>